Well, a perfect flower viewing day out at the UW campus. Just look at that. You know, I have not been out there yet in person, but this is still a pretty good view. Cherry blossoms, they're past their peak bloom, but they still look amazing. And with more nice weather in the forecast, UW is planning for another busy weekend. People are encouraged to take public transit to campus. If you do have to drive, try to park in one of the garages to help ease the traffic around the campus. Those blooms aren't going to last forever, so you need to get out there yeah, yeah, before days, they disappear, probably. <laughs> Mike. It's so beautiful. I can't stop smiling. You know, even the ones in my neighborhood are fantastic. I haven't even felt the inclination to go to UW, but if you want to go to where they're really fantastic, that's the place to go. Another place to go this weekend will be to the Skagit County Tulip Festival. It started yesterday, and it's going to be fantastic tomorrow. Now, here's a little tip for you. If you are planning on heading there, I am expecting rain in the morning, but right around midday is when those showers will taper off, and I expect expect them to stay away throughout most of the afternoon. So basically from about noon all the way through about 7 p.m. It's going to be fantastic there. Sunsets at 739 and just another sign that spring is upon us. We've got some spring like storms headed our way this weekend. First round is going to be what I'm calling the appetizer. We've got one moving in that will bring some light rain and mountain snow overnight tonight into Saturday. I'll show you how that works in a moment. There will be a convergence that will set up basically along the King and Snohomish County lines there that will drive some heavier rain in the lower elevations and some snow up into the Cascades there. In fact, it could be pretty good for the resorts, but what's going to be fantastic for the Cascades in general is this system that will move in late Sunday night and bring some heavier mountain snow. We're talking about not inches, but feet up there, and the timing is fantastic. Build that snowpack right before things start to warm up. Couldn't be any better than that. It's going to last for a couple of days. I'll give you the details on that in a moment. I want to give you a look into the future. This is Westport. You remember for the last couple of days as we've been looking off towards the coast, they've been the ones who have been sunny while we've been cloudy. Well, it's the opposite today. A pretty solid swell moving in there and some pretty steady rain. In fact, as we take a look at radar, it's not particularly impressive on radar, but you can see that it's coming down pretty good and it will continue to make its way from the west to the east as we go through the rest of the evening. Seeing some little embedded pots, parts of uh, some heavier rain there, but again, for the most part, just your standard rain. As we take a look off towards the north there, we do have some showers that are moving up into Skagit and Whatcom counties, including Mount Vernon there, but again, that will move off fairly quickly overnight tonight and start to clear tomorrow. In fact, let me show you as we go through the rest of the evening tonight. I am expecting some showers that will bunch up along the eastern side of the I-5 corridor right into some of the foothills there. Snow is going to fall tonight. Now I'm not expecting any pass impacts tonight, but as we go into Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, we could be looking at some significant ones there. So if you do have some travel plans, make sure you factor that in. By the time we get to early on Saturday morning, get off towards Mount Vernon. We will see some showers there. The reason I keep pointing that out is that's where the Tulip Festival is. We'll continue to see some of that snow lightly falling in the mountains. We go towards Saturday around 10 a.m. Things start to clear up nicely there. And then as we go towards the afternoon, yep, up towards Skagit and Whatcom counties, it's going to look fantastic. We'll just have some spotty showers around the region, especially near the foothills. Fast forward to Sunday, and this is where the real action starts. We see some of that heavier rain moving in along the coast that converts to snow right around the 3,000 foot level. And that's when I expect those pass impacts to kick in there. And look at those colors. We're going to have heavy rain Sunday night into Monday, lasting into Tuesday as well. Winter storm watch kicks in on Sunday at around 5 p.m. We'll stay in place until Tuesday at 5 a.m. Again, we could be talking about feet versus inches, and that's fantastic news. Seven day forecast shows us warming into the mid 50s on Saturday, and we see warmer temperatures heading our way on Wednesday.